Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10, specifically Windows 10 Pro 64-bit in Hyper-V Manager in Windows 8.1. First of all, you want to check your system requirements, specifically minimum requirements for your virtual machine rather than your physical machine. As you can tell right here, uh, it says 1 gigahertz for your processor, 1 gigabyte of memory for 32-bit edition, and 2 gigabytes for 64-bit, which we will be installing. Hard drive space is 16 gigabytes. You'll also want a graphics card with Microsoft DirectX 9 with WDDM driver. And finally, you'll want a Microsoft account and internet access. Okay, so now that we know what our minimum requirements are, we are going to the Microsoft website where you can download the Windows 10 32-bit or 64-bit tool. Now, keep in mind that this free upgrade option expires July 29th, 2016, so you have a year from now to download it for free. So it's telling us before we begin, we need to have an internet connection, sufficient data storage on a computer, USB or external drive, and a blank USB or DVD burn. So now we will be downloading the 64-bit version of the tool which is about 18.7 megabytes. Won't take that long depending on your internet speed. All right, so once you click on it, it will ask you, do you want to run this program? You will always, always want to say yes. And then it'll take a while to load. And then once it's done loading, the first thing you'll see is what you want to do. If you want to upgrade the PC or create installation for media for another PC, which we want to do. Now it wants us to ask for our language, what edition, we're going to choose Windows 10 Pro, and the architecture, which is going to be 64-bit. So next, now it wants us, do we want to create a USB or an ISO file because we're doing this in a virtual machine we're going to need to do an ISO file which can be converted into a DVD after you are done creating the file so we're going to save this as Windows 10 64-bit Pro and it will be downloading for a while Okay, so after a while of downloading, it has just verified it, and now it's creating the Windows 10 media. Shouldn't take too long. It isn't as long as uh, downloading the operating system itself. Okay, so now that the download is complete, it tells me in the directory that the ISO file is downloaded into my documents folder. 
So now that the ISO is completed downloading, we will go into Action, New, and then Virtual Machine. We're going to name it Windows 10 Pro. Now, because this is on a Windows 8.1 operating system, you always want to do Generation 2. Now, just like what I showed you in the beginning, the minimum of memory is 2 gigs, so 2,048 megabytes. Next, configuring my network to my network adapter. Next, and this is the hard drive space, which we're going to make us 10 gigabytes. Actually, the minimum is 16, so let's just make it 20 gigabytes. Now we're going to install the operating system and browse for the ISO. Like I said, it went into the documents folder, so here it is. Next, it'll tell me a little summary and then click finish. So now that it's done, uh, we want to click on start under Windows 10. Actually for the screen to pop up, I'm going to double click on the virtual machine and then click start from there. It will boot up into Hyper-V and now it's telling me to press any key to boot from CD or DVD, which we're doing right now. And now here is our setup screen. We want the language to be English. Everything is set at default. And now we'll click Install Now. OK, so the first thing when Windows sets up is it asks for the license key. Fortunately, we can skip this step, which we will do. Afterwards, it will ask us to agree to license terms. And now we want to do a custom install on the disk zero unallocated space. Next. And now it is copying files. OK, so after a while, it's done. Now it's wanting us to restart the machine. Okay, so for the second time, it asks us to enter in the product key, but like before, we are able to skip the step. Now we're going to use the express settings for when we set this up. And now it's taking a moment to install. Now it wants me to create an account for the computer, so I'm going to put in my name. And because this is a virtual machine, I'm not going to worry about uh, putting a password in. Okay, so we officially have Windows 10 Pro successfully installed. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to shut down the computer or the virtual machine. So it's shutting down right now.
and the virtual machine is powered off and that's how you install Windows 10 in Hyper-V Manager.